go. Okay. Good morning. Um, my name is Kate Voss, and I work at the Broad Institute of Harvard at MIT. Um, I'm here to talk a little bit about our full stack pipelining. Um, you may have heard of some pieces and parts. So this will be just a high level overview to go over a little bit of each of them. So um, to begin with, we produce the GATK, which is the Genome Analysis Toolkit. And just a little bit of lingo, it's GATK. We don't call it GATK. Um, we uh, produce the GATK for variant discovery. Um, we use it internally at the Broad, as well as we have about 46,000 registered users on our forum worldwide. They are at both research institutes, commercial institutions, um, and we even have uh, a lot of academic, um, a lot of academic users as well. Um, as well as um, we have our Whittle. Um, so again, a little bit of lingo. We have the workflow definition language, I always messed that up, um, or WDL, and we say Whittle. Uh, Whittle is our, the way that we pipeline GATK together in order to run complex workflows on large sets of genomic data. And with large sets of genomic data, we needed to create an engine. And so we have the Cromwell execution engine. And Cromwell's responsibility is to take the workflow, interpret it into jobs, and then execute those jobs either locally on your laptop, in your local cluster, or on the cloud. And so these, um, all of these different technologies were developed for Broad, by Broad, for Broad, but we have also shared them widely. And as you may have heard recently, we uh, released the GATK4. Well, the GATK4 beta release, to be exact, about three weeks ago. And one of the most exciting parts of that was that it's open source. Um, this was, <laughs> yeah, um, it was a very exciting um, announcement. We weren't able to uh, submit a regular talk because it was not announced until um, late May. And the, um, one of the reasons, the main reason for open source is for open collaboration. That's something that we've believed in very strongly at the Broad, and we wanted to really recommit ourselves to that. So part of our open sourcing of the GATK is all future versions of GATK4 are open sourced. Our Cromwell is open sourced. Our Whittle is open sourced. And actually, all software from the data sciences platform, which makes GATK, Whittle, Cromwell, and many others, is now going to be open source now and in the future. Um, there'll be some links at the end with more information if you're curious. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> and so um, that's not the only exciting thing about GATK4. There were a number of major um, improvements. They, the GATK team went and rewrote all of the tool sets. And in rewriting them, after being able to um, really make them much more efficient, they um, it sped up the entire pipeline. So GATK3, running it you know, just on its own, compared to GATK4, well, GATK4 is about five times faster. We also added support for a lot of advanced technologies like Apache Spark and FPGAs for um, your hardware optimization, as well as the, um, Intel's con uh, contributed genomics kernel library, the GKL, Genomics DB. The list goes on and on. Um, so that's really been a, a major improvement on GATK3. And finally, from the um, biomedical standpoint, we've also increased the number of best practice pipelines that we publish. So previously, we had the um, germline SNPs and indels, and now we also include somatic SNPs and indels and germline copy number variations and somatic copy number variations. So we've just quadrupled the number of best practice whittles that we publish. So it's been a very exciting time. And so at the Broad Institute, we um, do a lot of our own sequencing. And it's a bit of an understatement. We sequence about 24 terabytes of data every day. And that's only going up. We're not scaling back. And so we needed to create software that is also scaling 
while we are scaling the amount of data. So we have Cromwell, which is robust and working with different clouds, or we currently support Google Cloud, and we are building support for Alibaba and Amazon. And we also have Whittle, and Whittle is this great connection. It, is, um, it allows researchers to write their pipelines in a language that they easily understand and run them on whatever cloud they want to. And so all of these tools together are our full stack pipeline. And we wanted, we've also been committed um, on the Cromwell team to making sure that we are running workflows in whatever script or DSL that you have. And so rather than just running them in Whittle, we are actually currently developing support for CWL as well. We still believe that Whittle is the a researcher's preferred uh, workflow description language, but we really think that um, any of the, any researchers, whatever your scripts are, we want you to bring them. We want you to be able to use Cromwell and use the GATK wherever your data lives. So um, here's some more information and I'll make sure to share the slides after. Thank you.